Hi guys, this is Public Connect Workshop. In this video, you will learn how to integrate WooCommerce to Trello. So basically what we are trying to do is anytime a new order is created in WooCommerce, that data will be automatically inserted into Trello board. But WooCommerce and Trello are two different companies. Hence, there is no integration between them. In cases like these, we need to bring a third app to connect them both. In this video, we will use Public Connect to integrate WooCommerce to Trello. It is actually an easy two-step process. So let's get started. First of all, you have to visit the website called as Pabli Connect. So this is the website. Here, click on sign in. So this is the dashboard of Pabli Connect. As you can see, I already have an account in Pabli Connect. Now bring your attention to the connect part. Here, click on access now. Now you will see a button called as create new workflow. Just click it. A dialog box appears in front of you. It is asking you to give a name. I'm going to give it as WooCommerce to Trello. WooCommerce to Trello. Then click on save. When you click on save, a window appears in front of you. This is called as the trigger window. Here in the choose app, change it from webhook to WooCommerce. In the choose method, we have to change it from new coupon created to order created new order created now let's go to our wordpress site here bring your attention to woocommerce then click on settings here at the right end you will find advanced just click on advanced now bring your attention to webhooks click on webhooks okay it is giving me a button called as add webhook just click it we have to assign a name to this webhook so I'm going to give it as TYG webhook. You can give any random name according to your wish. Now the status, it has to be changed from disabled to active. The topic should be order created. So where is order created? Yes. Now comes the most important part, the delivery URL. To get the delivery URL, just go to Public Connect and just copy this and then paste it here. As far as the secret is concerned, we have to keep it as blank. The API version will remain same as WP REST API integration v3. Then click on save webhook. Okay, it is showing that the webhook has been created. So we have basically integrated WooCommerce to Pabli Connect. Now let's see whether Pabli Connect can capture any data from WooCommerce. To do that, let's go back to Pabli Connect and click on capture webhook response. Okay, it is showing that it is waiting for a webhook response. Now let's go back to WooCommerce and click on products. Here, click on all products. As you can see, I have made a ton of products. So I'm going to choose this product view and I'm going to purchase this product add to cart. Okay, as you can see, I have already filled some random information of a dummy customer. Okay. So the email address is ashirai824 at the rate gmail.com. The first name is Ashi and the last name is Rai and the rest of the details. Then click on place order. Okay, it is showing that the purchase has been made. So let's see whether Public Connect has captured this data or not. Let's go back to Public Connect. Yes, the data has been captured. Okay, so this is the first name Ashi, the last name Rai, the billing address, the billing address to the city and the country. And of course, the email ashirai824 at the rate gmail.com. So the Public Connect has successfully captured the data from WooCommerce. Now we have to sync this data into Trello. To do that, just click on this plus button. So when you click on this plus button, a window appears in beneath this trigger window. This is called as the action window. Here in the choose app, change it from API to Trello. In the choose method, we have to keep it as add new card. Then click on connect with Trello. Okay, so we have to fill in a set of parameters here. So in the username, we have to get the username. But before, let's get the API key. To get the API key, just type this trello.com API dash key and click on enter. Okay, so we have got the API key. This is the API key. Just copy this and paste it here. Now coming to the bearer token. To get the bearer token, just click on generate a token okay so it's showing that the username is ashirai2 just copy this and paste it here we have got the username from here okay now to get the bearer token this part 
this blank just scroll down and click on allow okay so this is our bearer token just copy this and paste it here then click on save when you do that a set of blanks appears in front of you so basically it means that our authorization is successful now in the choose board it is showing something called as dyu the reason why it is showing that is because we have a board called as dyu so i actually want a board called as woocommerce okay this is the board i have made specifically for woocommerce so to get that just change it from dui to woocommerce so in the select list it is showing me product list the reason why it is showing me product list is because i have a list called as product list in this board called as woocommerce okay so that is why it is showing me the product list now comes the name of the card we have to enter the name of the customer that we have got from woocommerce just map it so the first name is ashi we are going to give a good description uh, something like this this person called as name ashi last name again we are going to enter we are going to map the data we have fetched last name rai and he lives in let's add the billing address billing address 1 then more address billing address 2 then we have city bhopal and let's add country to yes okay so we have given a brief description then click on save and send test request so the api response is showing that uh, it has sent the data to trello so let's check in trello whether we have got this data so this is trello yes it is showing in the product list a person called as ashi has arrived so let's click this so this is the description that we had filled this person called ashi last name rai he lives in uh, this address and the country india okay so the presence of this information shows that we have successfully connected woocommerce to trello with help of public connect this means any time a new order is created by the customer in woocommerce his data will be automatically inserted into trello board but for your convenience let's check it one more time if the integration is working fine or not to do that let's go back to public connect and save this workflow okay save it then minimize this save this again okay then minimize this so this is the whole process in a nutshell first we have integrated woocommerce to public connect and then public connect to trello now let's go back to woocommerce dashboard uh, then products all products then click on view this time i am going to buy this product swiss watch add to cart this time i am going to add some other fake detail this time i am going to add a person called as aaron manuel okay his email address is aaron manuel 1991 at the rate gmail.com the first name is aaron the last name is manuel and then let's uh, let's place the order so order has been made successfully so let's check in trello if this person called as aaron is available in its boards okay just copy yes as you can see the person called as aaron has arrived so let's expand this to show the details it's showing that this person called as aaron last name manuel lives in this address is available so this means that we have successfully integrated woocommerce to trello so our integration is working absolutely fine so from now onwards whenever there is a new product purchased the customer data will be synced automatically into trello also you should know not just woocommerce and trello you can integrate a ton of applications using public connect thanks